So what is HTML? Now the key to drinking emergency when it's a little bit chunky is to just drink it all. Ah, feel better already. I also just realized that I bought this emergency one whole year ago and I didn't check for an expiration date. So June 20 of 18, up oh, focus. But there it is, June 2018. I'm not gonna die. Welcome to the first video in a series of videos that I've been wanting to do for a while where I explain basic concepts of front-end software development. And if you couldn't tell already, I am more than a little sick. As a matter of fact, I would put the over-under for the amount of times that I have to stop filming to sneeze in this video somewhere in the region of three and a half. Place your bets in the comments below. I have my tea. I just drank some emergency. I just took some ibuprofen and I think my fever is breaking, so I just got really warm after being really cold. Leo just hopped on the table. I am physically sick and emotionally sick because I spent the last week of my life in Ohio. It was very busy from a work standpoint and nothing went right this weekend as it pertains to sports and the teams that I enjoy both in real life and in fantasy and it's just been a lot. But I didn't want to delay this video anymore because I didn't post anything last week because of how busy I was and I have a little time while some things are running, so here I am. So when we talk about the internet and more specifically when we talk about web pages on the internet, the most basic building block of them is HTML. It's what holds all of your content. My voice is not loving me talking at a camera right now. It's what holds all of your content. It is the most important thing. You can write the most sick JavaScript in the world to make like awesome functionality. But if you don't have any content on your page, then it's just a it's just a fluff piece. There's nothing there. So HTML, while usually overlooked as, you know, basic and easy, is something that should be considered the most important thing on the internet. So HTML was originally released in 1993 and those letters H, T, M, and L stand for Hypertext Markup Language. It is a markup language, not a programming language. It doesn't understand logic. It will not be able to tell you that one plus one is two. But it does tell browsers where and how to put things on a page and originally intended it also gave some sort of idea of how each individual thing should look. And it still does to this day, it's just typically overwritten by CSS. So I really wanted to record that video all in one day, and after a short, I don't know, two day break in filming, here I am, and I haven't finished that video yet. I was very sick, Leah's about to hop on the table again, so the camera may wobble. But I was very sick, and I'm still not 100% over it, but I'm doing a lot better. I'm here to finish that video. So just to review what past Aaron said, HTML is the basic building block of the web. At its most basic, you could have every web page essentially render all of its information if you just used HTML. You can get an HTML website up and running in minutes, and it is really the content of every web page is in the HTML. An important thing to remember when you're learning HTML and when you're making HTML pages is that it can be structured in a multitude of ways. You can lay out your elements and tags in a lot of ways and then overwrite a lot of things with CSS and you can be very not descriptive and you can be very semantic in your HTML. It is important to be semantic and clear and concise in your HTML. You're right, you can put everything in divs and it will look fine and it won't affect anybody's experience when they're on your web page but if the next web developer comes in it would be really nice for them to kind of understand the structure of the website just with HTML and not necessarily have to look at the CSS to know this is the footer and this is an aside and this is the sidebar. It, it's you have the options now with HTML. And I would say the most important thing to keep in mind when you're learning HTML is really that you can learn how to build an HTML website in 30 seconds, right? It's really, really simple. That doesn't mean that you're a master of it. I I still don't know everything all of the tags 
in HTML. I would definitely take my time and dive deep into those tags and get a really good understanding of semantic HTML because it's good practice, it's cleaner, and it's just the right way to do things. So don't rush through it just to get to the CSS, just to get to the JavaScript. Make sure you really have an understanding of that. And Leo wants rubs so bad he's using my tripod to rub himself now. I am sorry it took so long to get this video out. Once again, I was sick. I'm still a little sick. And yeah, hopefully that'll be all done here soon. If you like this video, feel free to hit that like button because they are super awesome and they make me smile. If you have any questions or comments about HTML, anything that you think I missed, please leave it in the comments down below. Those are also super awesome. If you like what I'm doing here and you want to keep following along in the journey, as always, hit that subscribe button. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you again very soon. Bye.